Now, myopia, as I have just told, is the condition where the rays are focused in front of the retina. Okay, so that causes a blurring of the image because the it is not falling exactly on the retina. Now, myopia is again divided based on the causes into axial curvature myopia or index myopia. Right? Axial curvature or index myopia. We will learn each of them in detail. But before that, let's see how a myopic patient looks. This is how the typical eyes of the myopic patient appear. The patient squeezes their eyes into half shut to get a better vision. In, a, in an attempt to focus the image on the retina, the patient squeezes his eyes like this. This is a typical look of a myopic patient. Now let's learn about axial myopia. As the name suggests, it's something to do with the axis of the eye. So this is the most common cause of myopia, that is axial myopia. We can understand that the axial length of the eyeball is much longer than the normal. That is why the retina, um, the cornea and the lens are unable to focus the image on the retina because the retina is farther away just because the eyeball is longer. We have seen that the length of the normal eyeball is 24 millimeters. So, in myopia, it should be something more than 24 millimeters, right? Greater than 24 millimeters is the cause of axial myopia. Now, what you have to remember some numbers over here for each 1 millimeter of extra length, 3 diopters of myopia occurs. That's a very huge amount of myopia. 1 millimeter, just such a small increase in the length of the eyeball causes about 3 diopters of myopia. We know that the power of cornea is 43 diopters and lens is 19 diopters. This doesn't change but the axial length is changing. That means the retina is moving far away compared to this position. However, the power of lens and cornea is remaining the same. So, they are not sufficient to focus the image exactly on the retina. So, you will be able to understand better if you look at these pictures. See, this is the emetropic condition where the uh, po corneal power is 19 diopters and the power of the lens is 43 and the length of the eyeball is also only uh, 24 millimeters that is the, around the normal range. So, the patient is in emetropic condition. Emetropic condition. That is normal, okay? Emetropic normal. Now, what happens in ametropia? That is myopia in axial myopia. The axis, the length of the eyeball is increasing. However, the 19 diopters of the lens and the 43 diopters of cornea is remaining the same. The power of convergence is remaining the same, but the length to which uh, the convergence has to occur is increasing. So, there is no clear image forming because of the increased axial length that is axial myopia. Now let's look at a question that was asked. The axial length of a patient who wears 21 diopters glasses. Now we have seen 1 millimeter causes 3 diopters of myopia. Keeping this in mind, let's see how to solve this question. So 1 millimeter causes 3 diopters of myopia. So, if the patient is wearing 21 diopters, you will divide it by 3. 21 divided by 3 diopters, that will be 7 millimeters. So, we already know that the normal length of the eyeball is 24. You add 7 to 24, you will get the answer as 31. Okay. So, that will be your answer. This is how you will solve such kind of questions. Okay. Now, let's look at curvature myopia. What's with it? The curvature of the cornea is more, that is, the eyeball length is normal, but the curvature of cornea is changing. We have seen in our class of keratoconus that the cornea is excessively bent forward, that is, increased curvature. So, when you know that the curvature increases, the uh, extent of bending the light rays or focusing the light rays also increases, right? Increased focusing. Here, 
the cornea length, uh, the length of the eyeball is normal, but the curvature of cornea is increasing, so it bends the light rays more. Okay, so they are getting focused prematurely because of increased power of the cornea. If you look at this picture, you will understand. See, this is the increased curvature of the cornea. Just like this, see, we know that the normal cornea doesn't appear anywhere close to this. So, when the cornea is curved more, it is focusing the rays prematurely before the retina, in front of the retina. This is the cause of myopia in curvature myopia, curvature, curvature of the cornea, okay. It has nothing to do with the length of the eyeball. This condition is most commonly seen in keratoconus, okay. In keratoconus, the cornea is too steep and too powerful and hence the focus focuses the rays prematurely. Okay, that is curvature myopia. Now, let us look at index myopia. The condition where the refractive index of the eye increases because of various diseases, there can be many diseases, most common we will try to remember is the nuclear cataract. We know that the lens fiber starts sclerosing in a, in a nuclear cataract, right? Because of the sclerosing of the lens fibers, there is increased power, that is increased refractive index. That causes early conversion of the rays like this. See higher refractive index of this lens. So, whenever the refractive index is more, you will remember that there is increased bending of light rays. That causes obviously you can understand a premature convergence of the light rays and hence a blurry vision for the patient that is index myopia. Okay. Let us look at the physics of correction of myopia. Myops are famously known as short sighted because the light rays are focused in front of the retina so they cannot see something that is far away. Now let us understand why is it so? Why cannot they see something that is far away but can see something that is near? So let us look at the long distance. What happens is we know that the rays coming from long distance are parallel rays, right? We have seen this earlier in our classes as well that the rays coming from longer distance are parallel rays and uh, in myopic condition we know that the power is not sufficient to converge these parallel rays onto the retina. Right? So, the patient cannot see something that is far away. Okay? Cannot see something that is far away. What happens to closer objects in short distance? We know that the rays are divergent from shorter objects always the rays are divergent. So they have more space and time to reach the retina so the cornea can cornea and the lens can converge them exactly on the retina. So they become parallel first and then they converge. Okay? They are divergent and then they become parallel and then they get focused on the retina that is the physics of short distance image. So, your um, modality of management would be to diverge the rays and we know that all concave lenses diverge the light rays. So, if you place a diverging lens in front of the cornea for treating myopia, it will automatically diverge the parallel rays. So, after coming into the eye, there they start becoming parallel and then they get focused. So that is the physics behind the management of myopia with a concave lens. That is it diverges the rays so that after they, they enter the eye they become parallel and then they can become uh, focused on the retina and avoid premature convergence of the light rays. Okay, This is clear now. See this is how a myopic patient looks at the world around him. Once you correct it, this is how clear he can look at the things with a concave lens. You are going to use a concave lens, right? So, there is a typical myopic gesture where the patient pushes the glass close to the eyes. Okay, It Im improves the vision. That is a myopic gesture. It can be asked sometimes. They push the glass close to their eyes. However, there is a limitation in myopia correction. We know that all concave lenses, concave lenses 
cause minification of the image that is the size of the image gets reduced whenever you, you, you look at it through a concave lens. So how much is the minification? One diopter minifies the image by 2%. There's 2% minification for each diopter of myopia correction. So if a patient is wearing 10 diopter lens, there's 20% reduction in the image size. Okay. So that is why usually the myopes have a difficulty in reading the last line of the Snell lens chart because the glasses cause minification of the already such a small line, the 6 by 6 line, which you see on the Snell lens chart is already so small. Now he's wearing myopic glasses. There's further minification. Usually they cannot read the last line. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico App. Now, thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.